Hello, Diane. I just want to say how disappointed I've been that we haven't been able to get together and meet the last several meetings. Um, I'm sure it's made sharing the meetings that much more difficult, but you have made it look so easy. I've had the pleasure and the honor of working with you the last two years, and I have learned so much from you. I've seen you lead us with so much positive leadership and so much grace throughout some of our most challenging times. And I will always remember those times and appreciate your leadership so much. I've learned more about the science of reading through you and the dyslexia students. I've seen your passion that you've had with our special needs students, and it has really touched my heart. You have such a servant's heart and you care about every child in the state of Arkansas, and I appreciate you so much. I'm going to miss you terribly, and I'll always remember your leadership, your smile, your caring for so many students, and I hope you come back and visit with us. You'll be missed, and your leadership will be missed. Thank you again. Ms. Zook, I just want to let you know how much I've enjoyed personally working with you how much you have taught me about being concerned for every child. What I've really have learned from you though, your heart and passion for children with learning disabilities is something that has just really given me even more zeal to want to investigate that even more uh, for underserved kids to, to make sure that we are identifying those challenges which may keep them from achieving academically. So you've been an inspiration to me uh, in so many ways. Your board leadership over the last year, your commitment to academic excellence has just been enormous. And I want to thank you for all of your community service and uh, all your efforts to not only the State Board of Education, but to education as a general in the state of Arkansas as a former teacher. I can I easily see why you're so good and uh, why you're so effective as a former coach because you are a coach in the classroom. And so we're gonna miss you, but but we're not gonna be gone from you because you have too much exper expertise to sit on the sideline. So we're gonna keep you in the game with us and, uh, and keep you involved and, and make sure that we're not allowing your expertise to be wasted. God bless you and thank you so much for everything you've done. Diane, it's been an honor to work with you, to learn from you and to know you these past couple of years. You spent your life working for students and that is just so evident. Your passion coupled with your dedication and hard work is an example to us all. You leave literally no stone unturned as you seek the best education for all students. I really appreciate that you didn't stop teaching when you left the classroom. Um, you have impacted countless students inside the classroom and outside and I consider myself to be one of those. I've learned so much from you um, especially in the areas of dyslexia and special education, um, but I've also learned how to deeply care for others and for their well-being um, in your actions and your words and all you do. Thank you for your leadership this year, your dedication, and most of all, thank you for your service to the state of Arkansas. Um, you'll be deeply missed by me on this board, but I know you'll continue to do great things um, here in the state, so thank you. So I just wanted to say good job at accomplishing all that you set out to do. You've been very, very effective and I'm sure that your constituents are really gonna miss your advocacy. Um, but I am also sure that you're gonna continue to be just as effective in whatever's next for you. See you later. Mrs. Zook, thank you so much for your outstanding service these past seven years. You have done such a tremendous job in serving the students and educators of Arkansas, and you've been a great example to us of how to always be student-focused in every decision that we make. So I thank you so much for your example, your dedication of showing us how to, to uh, study and to make sure that we understand the information before we get there. And then, then your knowledge of, of special ed has been so valuable. I, I don't know what we're going to do without all that extra knowledge that you bring to the table, but you're going to be missed, but I, we wish you all the best and wherever you go in your service in the future, because I know you, you'll be serving somewhere. So thank you so much for all of your service and best wishes for the future. 
Hi, Diane. Um, just want to say congratulations on seven years of serving the students of Arkansas. We appreciate your service and I thank you for um, your tenure as chair. Um, I appreciate your calm and poised demeanor and your leadership. Um, I also appreciate your advocacy for students with dyslexia and how you have championed that cause and helped so many students throughout Arkansas. Um, I've enjoyed our time together and I hope that we will stay in touch and I look forward to seeing the things that you'll do to help our students in Arkansas in the future. Thank you. Good morning, Diane. Um, as COVID continues to control our lives, um, I'm saddened by the uh, fact that we just can't give you a proper send off. And um, a video, I guess we'll just have to do for now. Um, things I've really appreciated about the time you and I have been on the board together. Um, you have always been a huge advocate uh, for children with special needs and disabilities. And I look to you for advice and guidance uh, on decisions about those. And I'm really gonna miss that. Um, you were always prepared for the meetings <laughs> many times when I wasn't. Um, and, you know, I guess I'll just say I'll do better. Um, but, you know, one of the biggest things that I appreciate, uh, a childhood memory of when you go to school, you always said the Pledge of Allegiance. And it, it really means a lot to me that you probably had some pretty terse conversations with people to, to add that back. And that really means a lot, like I said. Um, hopefully soon we'll be able to congratulate someone for adding prayer back to uh, their state board meetings. But hope you and Randy have a good time and um, I will miss you and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. But cheers to you, Diane. Morning, Diane. It's Susan Chambers from Northwest Arkansas. Um, wish we could be together. Certainly wish that the celebration of your service could be everybody in the room with hugs. Obviously not appropriate right now, but please know the heart uh, that is being expressed through video for you today. Uh, I just want to thank you as you, you being the person that is most senior to me in terms of experience on the board, I've always admired the wisdom of those that came before me and that had more experience than I did on the board and actually had hoped by year five, I would be feeling wise uh, and feeling the wisdom that I always observed in others. Still looking for that to happen, but so appreciative for the wisdom and perspective that you've brought to the board in your service. You represent to me the very best of duty of care. Uh, you did the work. You always prepared for every meeting. You were informed. You had met with family members, community members. You'd read the material. You'd read the text from meetings you couldn't attend so that when you were representing the state of Arkansas, the children of Arkansas in making decisions, it was always informed and it was always with the child at the center of your thinking and your concern and your heart. And uh, I, it's, it's something that I will continue to try to live up to in my last year on the board, but I just want to uh, thank you for being such a fierce advocate for children, for every child in the state of Arkansas. And, and especially, because uh, I, I do believe you had a special spot in your heart for kids with special needs. And um, families could not have hoped for a more fierce advocate than you. Uh, in your uh, absence, the rest of us will just have to work a little harder and stand a little taller to make sure that we continue to represent all those interests. But thank you for everything that you've done for the state, for our children, for your peers on the board. We'll miss you and we will do our best to live, live up to your leadership. You take care.